Well, I think we need to recognize that Europe has some significant challenges. We have a demographic issue, we have an entitlement spirit, and we have some lack of competitiveness in some areas and in some industries. And I think the, the key issue for us is to open up, to open up to new ideas, to open our frontiers, and to really question the status quo. Everybody talks about structural reform, but it means really courage to, uh, to say, let's try out new things, let's be open, and uh, let's not just try to protect of what we have, because we will lose that. Clearly, there are very strong economic reasons to have women. First, it's a great talent pool. Um, when you look at you know, the university degrees, uh, when you look at um, you know, high school um, um, performance, women are on average doing better than men. Secondly, um, and we heard this also in the forum, quite a number of companies have mostly female customers. And so they rightly expect uh, in the teams to be female consultants who understand female customers better than men, on average, I would say. And I think thirdly, and this is also very important, our um, task, our responsibility is to help clients change. And in order to really help clients change their minds and their actions, I think women on average are better in helping to make the change come true. We have about 25% of our consultants are women and 18% of the executive committee are women. I'm quite hopeful that not within a few years, but within the next decade or two, we'll see women in, uh, you know, at 40-50% among the consulting staff. And of course, also in the executive committee, I would expect the share to be much higher. I think you learn a lot in all those discussions um, in the forum, how, you know, you could we can also uh, change our behavior and our actions. And you know, I think for us then, the, the step is you know, how to make this work. Uh, and so there's, it's always learning and, uh, and um, not just food for thought, but really uh, food for action. Mm -hmm.